I seem to bother my cat, Victor. He's judging me from behind. Welcome back to my YouTube videos. Thank you so much guys for following me and watching my videos. Who would have known that I would have a following here? Didn't expect that. But hey, happy you guys like. So today is gonna be a get ready with me while reading your assumptions about me. Maybe you're gonna learn some stuff about me or not. So, um, disclaimer, I went yesterday at the tent spot for a brow lamination and tint. Honestly, the brows look flawless. They are fierce, they are well-shaped, they look amazing, but I'm not sure it fits me. I didn't expect my brows to look like I am Lily Collins. To be honest, all my life I thought that I had no eyebrows, that my eyebrows were non-existent, that I had to draw them every single morning, but uh, no, I just had really, really pale hair, I guess. Hello, new brows. I didn't expect you to become so present and so thick. <laughs> Today, I'm not gonna show you guys my brow routine because obviously I don't need to put any more stuff um, but I'm gonna show you the rest and I'm also gonna show you the products that I usually use for my brows But not gonna apply them today. Obviously, I need to take a shower because I just woke up. I look uh... So as you can see I am not looking fabulous when I wake up. We're humans Obviously, I look like this when I wake up. I don't look perfect. I don't ever look perfect, but I especially don't look perfect when I wake up and I want to precise that I will do like a full makeup look for the purpose of the video Usually I only wake up apply some moisturizer some mascara and some lipstick and I'm done for the day So it's gonna be a really short video if I do my everyday makeup routine But I'm gonna do like I would go for an event or for a shooting or for something really special which doesn't happen really often so uh, you guys have been asking me this for a while now you're gonna see that I'm very minimalistic in my routine and that I have no idea what I'm doing also it's gonna be fun um, I wrote all the assumptions you guys sent me some of them are so I'm gonna go take a shower because obviously I need it and I'm gonna come back all clean and ready to put my makeup on. In 3, 2, 1, I'll be clean. Bad transition. Lol. I just got out of the shower. Lies. No, I didn't take a shower. I just washed my hair in the sink because I was too lazy to take a shower and also I didn't smell. So I was like, mm, why bothering washing my whole body when I can just wash my hair? Barb is crazy as fuck right now. Are you okay? Okay. Barb. And I'm gonna start my skincare routine. Always start with moisturizer in the morning after like rinsing my face. I'm always applying like water, removing my caca in the corners of my eyes. So after that, I'm applying either my La Roche-Posay Dermalergo Serum or my Rosé C, Rosa, Rosé C, Rosé C, I don't know how to pronounce it, gel cream from GM Colin. I just alternate between these two because I don't know which one I prefer. So today I'm gonna just randomly pick this one and I'm applying some drops on my face and making it, um, I don't know how to say it in English, I'm just making it, making my skin absorb it. I'm avoiding my eyebrows because apparently I cannot put anything wet on them for like 48 hours, I think. So once it's done, I go for sunscreen so i will <laughs> use the skin cuticle physical fusion uv defense sunscreen 50 and it's the tinted one i also use the non tinted the not non tinted i cannot pronounce it the non tinted one jesus christ but today i'm gonna use the tinted one because um 
feeling fancy today. Let's do this. I'm gonna apply a little bit everywhere. I'm putting too much clearly right now. It's a light tinted sunscreen. It's not gonna do like um, a full coverage base, obviously. Don't forget your neck. I'm gonna just remove my towel because it's annoying. Wow, I look great. So I'm gonna <laughs> brush my hair. I'm doing it gently. Then I use another type of brush. It looks like shit. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, I love this brush. I found it in a vintage style brush and I removed it from the old brush and I kept it because it makes my hair really soft. It probably belonged to a dead person because it's really old and it reminds me of the movie The Circle. But hey, it does the job, so I'm brushing my bangs in the front. Oh, Barb, hello. Then I take two scrunchies. I split my hair. I do like some little twist like that. If you watch my friend Sarah IGTV video about her doing her curls without heat. It's really interesting. I do kind of the same technique, but I also turn them into little buns because I have really thin hair and it's not enough to only twist them. I put it like that. I twist the other one. I look very fabulous like that, so I mostly let them dry like that. I usually wait an hour, I think, and then I remove them and they're a little bit wavy. So I'm gonna start reading my first assumption about me. The person said, you have tattoos to look tougher, but in fact, you're a very sensitive person. I, I, I do, I am a sensitive person. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting tattoos to look tougher. I think I'm getting tattoos to look more like myself and I feel like myself is Audrey with ink on her arms. But that was a good one. Nice try. Nice try. I can give it to you. Let's start with the foundation. I'm gonna put my hair... <laughs> wow, I look good. Uh, what I do is I use this Torte Rainforest of the Sea water foundation. It's not too high coverage, it's just enough for me. And oh! 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 And I will use my little sponge here and I'm going to just blend everything on my face. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just been doing this for years and it's working for my face. And also I have rosacea, so I have to be really careful with the products that I'm using on my skin. And uh, these are the ones that work with my skin, but just make sure to do a little patch test before if you have sensitive skin, because you never know some products might work for me but it doesn't mean it will work for you. Once you've done it, I usually don't put any more <laughs> makeup on my skin, but if we want to go further, <laughs> I would also apply some concealer, which is the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. So uh, yeah, I use it under my eyes, on the corner of my mouth, because I have lines here and it's bothering me so much. So the skin is done. No, not true. I'm gonna apply some powder, but before applying some powder, I'm going to read some other assumptions. I get this one a lot. You guys maybe know my sexual orientation more than I do, uh, but people think I'm bi or pansexual. Maybe I am, I don't know. I, I feel like um, sexuality and sexual orientations are part of a spectrum and in my life I've only had relationships and experiences with men but maybe one day I will fall in love with a woman, who knows? I consider that I fall in love with someone for its personality and who they are, not necessarily for their gender. I've never felt the need to put a label on my sexual orientation. I just feel like I go with the flow if someday I fall in love with someone who has a different gender than me, well, be it. If I stay straight, then be it. I'm really free and really open-minded about that. I don't know if that replies to the question. I don't know how to reply to this. It's not really a question, actually. It's an assumption. Well, you can assume that. 
I, I'm, I'm not mad at all. Okay, anyway, so next step would be to apply some powder because I don't like looking too glowy. For some people it looks really good, but for me I feel like it's a little bit too much and I see more of my blemishes and stuff like that when I'm glowy, so I prefer to look mate. I'm gonna put some Dermablend Illuminating Banana Powder. I really like this product. So I'm applying a little layer of it with a brush. After I did this, I usually apply some bronzer. I will use today the Dior, Dior, Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze Color Games. Golden Mineral Infused. So yeah, I hope uh, you guys uh, understood what I said. So it looks like this. It smells so good. Every Dior product smells like heaven. I usually don't use products with fragrance in it because my skin is really sensitive but I didn't react to this product so I will use it as long as I can. <sighs> uh, you have to be careful with this one because it's really pigmented so <sighs> I would say uh, just go really uh, carefully because it's uh, oh, like, like, like you can see uh, it doesn't look uh, so good right now I'm gonna try to fix it. Oh no what am I doing? Okay, let's let's keep going. <laughs> so, uh, before continuing, I will read another assumption because I want my video to be longer than what it would be if I didn't do it. So, this one was really triggering for me because you love Matisse, but you don't really know much about art and other painters slash artists. So, um, okay, I love Matisse, it's one of my favorite artists, I think it fits well with my personal brand and I think it fits well with my aesthetic on Instagram, so that's why I'm talking about it a lot and that my own personal style is inspired by obviously my favorite artist. But saying that I don't know much about art is a little bit harsh and, and it's also not true. If you guys watch my Q&A videos, I'm explaining that I studied actually in graphic design in CEGEP and university and I had so many art classes. Basically every class that I had and pay for was art classes. So let me tell you, I know a lot of things about art. And I feel like maybe that's one of the reasons why I dropped out because I couldn't take any more art classes. I felt like I've learned what I had to learn. And also I had really good grades in history classes. So, girl, next is, uh, I don't know what's next. Usually I do my eyebrows. Um, not gonna do it today because they're pretty full and living so i'm gonna just show you guys what i usually use either i use the glacier boy brow or the nyx tinted brow mascara in the color brown i think i think i'm gonna read another assumption because there's not much step left so the next assumption is you do things for yourself and you don't care about what people think I would say it's true for now. In the past, I was not always comfortable with myself. I was not always confident. I was scared of people judging me and I would live in the fear of being laughed at and stuff like that. But I'd say the more you grow up, the more you get wiser and you have experience in life, you realize that who cares honestly there's always someone who's gonna judge you even though you're perfect even though you're doing your best just be gentle with yourself the same way you would be gentle with other people be the kindest version of yourself be the best human you can do your part act positively in your society but that's it like don't put too much pressure on yourself and don't expect other people to always like you Sometimes they just don't, sometimes they're jealous, sometimes people are unhappy so they're trying to project their own unhappiness and the best people that are really there for you to support you will stay and stick with you and you will just filter out the bad ones in your life. <laughs> and honestly I did it and I wouldn't say it was easy but 
right now I'm really happy with my close circle and I really don't give a single fuck about what other people can think about me even on social media and I feel like maybe working full-time as an influencer helped me getting a thicker skin it helped me just like filtering the positive critics and uh, comments that I had and taking what I needed and just leaving the rest for the garbage <laughs> so next step would be to do my eyes I guess because the lips are last right Usually when I watch YouTube videos, they finish with the lips, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use the Five Color Games number 897 Sprint. And I'm gonna apply it with a little brush here that I have. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So I'm applying this color here on my lid. I don't know why. I felt like doing this. Okay, let's try a darker color because it doesn't look like anything. Okay, okay, it's working. It's working right now. At first, I was applying this little gold brown here, but I'm gonna try applying this. Oh, you can see my sponges here. They look like boobs. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try this orange here. equal um that's it for the eyes because i i'm not comfortable enough to keep going let's do another assumption so this one is true and it goes like that you're not the type of person to hold grudge i'm someone who will not forget if you backstab me obviously as long as the person is being vulnerable with me and explaining their emotions and how they felt and why they did it and they're really apologizing I'm not the type of person to hold grudge for me to be mad at someone it needs to be really bad and really mean and usually I just don't stick with this kind of people and I have this intuition and this instinct with people that I just know when they're good people and not good people I have like this intuition for people that are really manipulative so I just know I'm not someone who hold grudge because I don't have this kind of mean person in my life also so I never have to forgive a really weird and bad move because I'm really well surrounded also let's go with the mascara I guess or should I do an eyeliner I could do the eyeliner so I received some uh, highliner from Chanel brag so it's like a metallic brown and obviously i'm gonna mess it up and i will cry after so talk to you after i'm gonna put it in accelerate So that's gonna be it for the eyeliner. I really want it to look like super fine and thin. Okay, so let's do the mascara, but before that, I'm gonna read another assumption. <laughs> oh, the other one is like, I think many people have this assumption and it's, I have a dream life. No, it's not true. People think I'm rich, people think I'm always in Paris, people think I'm always like having so many clothes and stuff like that and yes I have a good life, yes I am happy, yes I'm making a living out of my passion so of course maybe it's your version of a dream life but I am dealing with my own problems, financial problems sometimes, I've been dealing with many health problems in the past, now I'm knocking on wood everything is good but you cannot assume someone's life is like a dream even though you would like to have this kind of life it doesn't mean it's perfect and me too sometimes i'm dreaming about having someone else's life but in the end you make your own decision and you make your own dream come true so and it's all about perspective from the outside sometimes it looks really good and really great but when you're actually living it, it's not 
always a dream. So next step is mascara and it's my favorite part because I always have questions about my lashes. Many people ask me if they are my real eyelashes or if um, I have extensions and no I don't have extensions as you can see my eyelashes are pretty pale and they don't look very full but my secret is applying a lot of mascara so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and for that I'm gonna use the Le Volume Stretch de Chanel it's honestly been one of the best mascara I've used in my life along with the Marc Jacob one here so I'm gonna use both of them and I'm gonna show you how I do it so I'm just gonna put my bangs out of the way so here we go <laughs> So as you can see, there's like a pretty big difference between my two eyes. And usually what I do is I let this coat of mascara dry by itself <laughs> while I'm applying the mascara on my other eyes. And then I will add another layer with another mascara. Let me do my other eye and show you what's next. Okay, so... Time for the other coat of mascara. So what I'm gonna do is use the Marc Jacob Blacker at Lashed. I don't know how to pronounce this. Wow. It's one of the best mascara also on the market. So let me show you guys how I apply it. I'm just putting a little bit more mascara at the end because I want this part to look fuller, but also I don't want it to look like grainy and um, you know how it can look when you put too much mascara on so I'm just applying it carefully so as you can see they look pretty long and voluminous right now usually I don't like having too much makeup on because I really feel like for some people it looks so good on them they look like gods and goddesses but for me I feel like if I put too much makeup on I look like a clown. I feel like I have a very small face and if I put too much accent on some parts I look like a fool. So today is like the heaviest makeup I will ever wear. Let me read another assumption. I feel like I have a lot and uh, I only like told you guys a few so I will try to hurry up a little bit. You can't go anywhere without a bright lipstick. This is absolutely true even sometimes i wake up in the morning i don't put a single drop of makeup on my skin and my eyes but i will always wear lipstick i just feel naked without it well it gives me life so i love lipstick next one is you are very good at drawing thank you i kind of am i feel like i've always been like comfortable in art in any form of art. I can show you guys some stuff that I did in the past. I will put some example here, but I feel like I'm more comfortable in photography and graphic design. So that's why I kind of stopped doing some drawings, but I kind of like doing it when I have free time and I feel creative or when I feel anxious. It helps me a lot to evacuate my stress. Another one is I hate to read books. I actually have so many books that I don't know why I would hate reading if I had that many books but the thing is right now uh, with my medication for anxiety I don't know if you saw my Q&A uh, or my Instagram stories but I'm an anxiety sufferer so I take Zoloft and it helps me a lot like but it comes with some side effects, which is I have no concentration. I haven't been able to finish a book since last May. It breaks my heart and I talked about it with my doctor and my therapist, but right now we're focusing on me getting better. So I stopped reading <laughs> a little bit, but I planned on maybe doing a YouTube video about my favorite books. Uh, next one is, I was bad in math and science younger, but succeeded in art classes. So yes, that's true. I was not bad in science though. It was one of my best um, school matters. Matters? Is that how we say it in English? Anyway, but math, I was not bad, but I was not good. I was like 
in the average but I was pretty nerdy in high school so I had um, pretty good grades so I was not good but I was not bad either so my lips I'm going to use two I have a lot of questions about my lipstick usually when I can reply I do but sometimes I cannot reply specifically to you guys because I use like two or three shades and I just literally made up a new color by myself so um, today I'm gonna use Rouge Dior Ultra Care Liquid number 707 and I'm gonna also use the Guerlain I don't know which shade is it because it's like customable packages and I don't know which shade it is but it's a light red brownish shade I would say I will start with this one and apply the red on top of it so let's start with this shade The first color is applied. There you go. I don't like it when it looks pink and cherry. I prefer when it looks rusty. So I really like the mix of these two colors. And whenever my makeup is all done, I feel like I really like my laminated and tinted brow right now but i'm gonna shape them so you can see how i comb them i use this little brush that i've been given after my brow lamination so i brush them up and then i brush them down there you go oh no i forgot about my highlight so i'm gonna read another assumption my boyfriend is tired of being filmed or filming me or taking photographs of me for content uh, i think he's he's pretty tired sometimes but he also enjoys it a lot and he's the one helping me with my content i feel like sometimes he's tired i am tired of it sometimes i don't feel like creating content and filming everything but also it's my job so I have to do it so I feel like he's just the same but he's the most patient human on earth so I feel like this feeling just passes with time maybe just ask him just ask him next assumption is you cut your own bangs yep oh I could do it for the video I will cut my own bangs usually I use uh, a comb and my hair scissors I'm just really used to do my own bangs. I've been doing it for years, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I do for the purpose of the video, but please go see a hairdresser. It always looks bad when you cut it by yourself. I don't know a single person that did it and succeeded. So how I do my hair, usually I come my bangs up front like this. I separate also like the longer part that goes like on the side of my head. <laughs> I look crazy right now I just cut them straight and then I trim them vertically well it doesn't really look like I did anything but I trim it like every week so that's why it keeps looking the same all the time next step would be to untie my buns i wash my hair with the nexus damage healing kerafix uh, uh, protein fusion with keratin protein and black rice i don't put any conditioner because i have really thin hair and i feel like it makes them look greasy easily so i just don't put it and my hair are not really dry so and then today I'm gonna use the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I bet you already saw it on Instagram or on the internet because it's really Instagrammable. I just wait until they dry. Whenever I shoot, I will maybe curl them with a curling iron. Oh, I forgot, but I also apply some deodorant. <laughs> of course, I always forget, but the days that I don't, I'm happy because, you know, I don't smell. So I use the one from L'Occitane, L'Extraordinaire Recette Deodorante, à l'extrait de verveine. So it looks like this. So you apply some on your fingers and you just put it under your armpit. Mm -hmm. 
Usually I'm not a fan of natural deodorant because they make me smelly, but this one has been working for me and I love it. Next step, I don't know why I'm doing it last. Uh, obviously I would have done it before my deodorant, but I just realized I forgot about it. So, <laughs> so my highlighter usually is the Lise Watier Duo Indispensable. So I'm using a small brush and we'll apply at the tip of my nose like that and also on a little bit on my chin i don't really put any highlighter on my cheeks i don't know i feel like it doesn't look good on me but it always looks good on other people maybe i have a problem with my cheeks i don't know so i don't put on my cheeks <laughs> So who's the idiot that was not recording while filming her final hair and makeup look and reading her last assumptions? I don't have the energy to refilm everything so I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups and some moody videos of my look and I'm gonna read right now my last assumption. Are you really friends with all the other Instagrammers slash the people you hang with? So I guess this person is talking about the people that I show in my stories. Yes, I'm friends with them in real life. Like there's a limit to my will to suffer and hang with people that I hate. I mean, y'all trying to find love on dating apps and you think it's impossible to find new friendships on social media? I mean, we don't all eat drama for breakfast. It's not keeping up with the Kardashian. Ugh, anyways, here's the final makeup and hair look. Enjoy! I hope you guys liked the makeup look and the hair tutorial and I hope you liked my answers to the assumptions about me they were not really harsh I felt like maybe they would be funny to react to if you guys have any other assumptions you would like me to reply you can leave them in the comments and I will reply directly to you so thank you so much for watching we'll see you on the next one bye